Hello system masters and in this case come to your masters. Uh, this is not going to be my uh, normal speed running or uh, gaming video. Um, so if anybody's here for that, you can just click out right away. This is going to be a different type of video this time. Um, because uh, like a lot of people in the IT world, I've started a uh, WGU um, uh, bachelor's degree and in, if uh, that's also what you're doing you're probably uh, asked to do this certification for project management and uh, I've uh, I've checked online on YouTube uh, for um, advice on uh, how to to go at this one and uh, what I found was not really helpful uh, and um, a lot of it was about the old exam the PK0004 and the new one adds twice as much content. So the, the old videos that you can find online, be very careful. One of them says that you can get it done in three days. It's not true. That's the old exam, yes. But the new one, don't listen to that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Even if you study full time, you're not going to be able to um, to do that in three days. I, I, I can tell you now. Uh, but of course, at these exams, it's multiple choice. So you can always get super lucky for sure. But um most likely than not if you only do uh, study that for three days you're gonna fail um me myself i work full time and uh i studied uh, for this every single night and every uh single saturday and sunday the entire day i did that for three weeks that's what it took me three weeks of studying non-stop after work on weekdays and in the weekends and I barely passed, barely, barely, barely. Uh, I had a score of 725 and you need 710 minimum to pass. So that's a rough one. That's a really, really rough, uh, rough exam. So th this is it here, the PK0005. Um, so you can buy the, the vouchers for this exam here on the CompTIA website. Uh, I really strongly suggest to buy there because uh, you have a retake voucher uh, and you have the self-paced study guide. And so this guide is the official guide. And uh, you cannot buy this uh, in paper. They don't do it in paper anymore. It's uh, the, the study guide is only online, which is really, really, really disappointing. Uh, but you really need it. I'm going to tell you why. Um, so yeah, get, get that. You don't need, I don't think you need uh, those more expensive ones, you can you can take them if you if you have the the money for it. But uh, I I don't I don't think you need those. I didn't get those. I I got this one on the left here, the basic bundle. And if if you fail the exam, you have a retake voucher. So that that makes you feel a little bit better, a little bit less stress when you pass the exam. And you got, you're gonna need that that stress gone because uh, it was it was very very stressful. Um, what I also got is um, this. The study guide, a lot of people uh, just use this uh, and it's a combo with the practice test. The practice tests are really good. So uh, I'd get this this uh, combo, it's $47. Um, you can see here $47 uh, for the two books. Uh, it, it's mostly good for uh, yeah this practice test because the study guide, what people don't tell you and I found that out uh, while doing some quizzes is that it's lacking a lot of content. Like there's, I was laughing uh, because I was looking for stuff in there um, that are in the quizzes and they're simply not in that guide. Like they're not present at all. So it's missing a lot of material. Uh, what you do, you go on your uh, self-paced study guide here on the, the official one and then you have a search engine in the guide and then you can type the keyword and then you will find it's in there and very detailed and it's very clear. So if you, if at a quiz you don't know what to answer and especially the JSON Dion uh, quizzes, they're based on the official study guide. And if you don't have it and you just go in the book here, I'm telling you, you will not find a lot of these answers. You will find a lot of them, but a lot of them you will not. It's not in there. So, um, yeah, you really want this, and I know it's you know it sucks to have to study uh, on on a monitor and not in a book. Uh, if you guys are like me, you probably like having a book in your hand like this one. This is my next exam I'm going to do for uh, Linux. 
Uh, but yeah, you, this might be missing material too. I don't know, but uh, I think for Linux, it's not going to be as bad. But for Project Plus, it was really, 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 really bad. Um, and so if you want to do this, to get this done in three weeks, what I would suggest is a starting, the starting point to go uh, with CBT nuggets. Because I did it wrong. I started with JSON Dion on Udemy. Uh, and at first when I did it, I thought it was a really bad course, honestly. <laughs> I thought it was really bad because uh, it just pitches you, uh, you all the material without really explaining as as good uh, as CBT Nuggets. CBT Nuggets will really explain you the world of project management and you, you'll really, really understand why you're studying what you're studying and, and what it means in the world of project management. So. Um, yeah, you, you really want to get that done. It's 11 hours, as you can see, I completed it all. And with CBT Nuggets, you have one free week. And you can get this done in one week, for sure. Uh, I, I would start this, like, for instance, uh, on, a, on, a, on a Friday or something, and you can get it done during the weekend. Don't do anything in the weekend. I was on my balcony here and studying outside and just on my laptop and that was great. It was a really good time having coffee. You're going to need a lot of these coffees, but you can get it done uh, in two days. Worst case, uh, do a few more weekdays uh, and, and then you'll get it done and you'll understand, you'll understand the course. But this is not enough. It's a great course. It was my favorite. It was super fun. Honestly, this, this made it fun. This made Project Plus fun. But it, it was not enough. You, if you just watch this, you will not. It's also missing a lot of things, and you will not have enough. What I would suggest is after this, then you go for the Jason Dion courses, and then you will understand what they're saying, and you will understand. Um, you will understand uh, all the details, uh, etc., and why they're important to to know them. You have to know your material to pass this exam, guys. If you don't know the the, the life cycles, the software development life cycle, if you don't know um, uh, all the different phases, um, uh, every, every, everything you have to know in order and what order you do things and things like that. Uh, yeah, it's, it's in this course and you, you have to do that and, and really listen carefully, but you'll understand why when you do also these practice exams. So you, you see I did 50% of them. So there are six practice tests. I did three out of six. I figured if I fail, I, I have three more to do for my retake. Um, and at the, my, my last one, I scored 80%, which you need about 80% of the real exam also to pass. So uh, if you don't score 80%, I would suggest to, to keep going with more uh, practice tests. And then you can also take the ones from, from that book as well. And then, uh, and once you do that, you should theoretically be ready. But I will say, guys, this exam is um, trick question after trick question. I, I can't reveal what the questions were. Uh, that that's not allowed. But it was really, really tricky. So um, if you don't already know the material, uh, at least you you have to pass the questions that are purely um, memory based. And you have to at least pass those because you're gonna have like one third of the questions, they're really tricky. Uh, they give you a scenario and there's multiple things that can be good in there. And you have to pick the one that's the, that makes the most sense, but it's uh, it's it's a, often a rough choice. So uh, again, can't reveal the details, but, and it's like that with a lot of CompTI exams. So three weeks ago, I did Cloud Essentials Plus um, just because it was uh, not expensive and I, I wanted to, to get more knowledge into cloud. Uh, and uh, that was the same thing, it was super tricky. When I clicked end exam, I was sure I'd failed. I was sure I'd failed and I didn't, and I, I passed it. So I was really happy about that. And this was the, the same here. Um, the performance based questions are extremely tricky. Uh, and uh, and then the, the regular questions are also so. Uh, so I'm going to wish you all good luck with that, but definitely uh, don't rely on just one material. CBT Nuggets, you really want to go through that. Again, it's free for the first week. And then after that, it's $60 a month. So try to get it done in a week. Uh, otherwise, you're going to pay a lot of money for that. Um, 
But if, if they're really good uh, with other exams, I might do. Um, I, I might have to pay for it because um, uh, it's it's worth it. They really explain very well. So start with CVT nuggets, have the book on the side, and then uh, do JSON Dion as well after at the end. Take some quizzes and see if you score eighty percent. You, you should theoretically be ready, but um, know your stuff before going there. I'm telling you guys because it, it was it was hard. So uh, there you go. Just wanted to, to uh, help uh, some fellow students. Uh, hopefully that that guides you a little bit uh, in your process. So that's for the exam in 2025, PK0005. So I hope you guys pass it, and I wish you a great rest of your day, guys. Take care.